It's the 24th of May today um, and what I'm going to show you today um, are pak choy um, and some other lettuces. Um, now when I grow lettuces I grow them um, sort of each month um, and then I just pick the leaves. I don't let them get sort of to the full size because then they'll all be ready together so I sew them successionally which is some you know um, in about April time March April time and then another month later I'll sew some more and then I'll sew some more a month after that and then I just pick the leaves as and when you want them and then they seem to last much longer. Um, now I've got pak choy which I'm going to um, sow today. Now pak choy can be sown, actually you can sow it outside um, but I'm actually going to start it off inside and you can sow it uh, May, June, July and August. If you want to start it inside then you could sow it in like April time. Um, so Pak choy is great if you're doing stir fry. Um, you can eat it without cooking it, but it is quite tough. Um, so it's always best to just stir fry it for a couple of minutes and then it just softens up a bit. So there's that one. Um, I'm going to do those in one tray. Um, and then I've got lots of different varieties of, uh, of lettuce here. Um, I've got um, these ones which are called Oriental Ruby Streaks. streaks. Uh, they're a, a mustard so they'll be quite peppery. Um, I've got some lettuce red leaves and as you can see these are all sorts of different colours. Um, and even though these are um, full headed lettuces um, I will uh, pick the leaves as and when I need them. Um, so lettuces are great um, just to show, sow them in a, in a trough or sow them in a tray um, and then pick out little chunks to move to three inch pots and let them get slightly bigger and um, then you can just pick the leaves when they're about three or four inches tall. Um, so I'm going to, these are going to be sewn in exactly the same way. Um, so let me show you how to do that. Right, so I've got two trays here. I've got one tray for the pak choy and the other tray for the lettuce. And all you need to do is to fill, nearly fill up your tray with uh, just normal multi-purpose compost okay and then I'll just show you the one and then just uh, give it a nice gentle pat down like that and then all we need to do then is give it a water now this compost is quite dry um, because it's um, it's the weather's been really really good um, but if um, if your compost is, is really wet then you might need to give it just a little bit more of a, of a water. Now let that water soak through before we start to sow the seeds. Now let's get some of the pak choy. There are 175 seeds in here. Obviously I'm not going to sow all of them because I'll sow some now and then I'll sow some uh, most probably in about a month's time. Actually, do you know what? Oh no, I won't sow them all because there's going to be too many. Um, these are the pak choy seeds. Um, they look exactly the same as brassica seeds. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to give a quick sprinkle over the top Okay, let them fall on the compost. If some of them fall a little bit too close together, then it doesn't matter. Just leave them there. Okay, and then all we're going to do is just to cover them up just with a little bit more compost. Just there. Don't pat it down. Just let it sit there on the top. So that, that's the pak choy. And now let's do the same thing with the lettuce. Give it a water, let it soak through, 
and then we can sprinkle some of these seeds on. Now there's lots in here, there's a thousand in this packet and I'm not going to plant them all now, okay, because that would just be silly. So these are the lettuce seeds. Lettuce seeds are usually the same um, size, uh, but they just vary in colour. And because there are lots of different varieties um, in this pack, that's why we've got lots of different variety, uh, lots of different colours. So just sprinkle on the top here. Okay, not too thinly, but not too thickly. I think once before I said a bit like seeds on top of a sesame seed bun, which I think is quite a good one. Okay, any spare ones just pop back in the packet and then um, I'll use those. I'll sow some more in about three or four weeks time. And again, just gently sprinkle some compost on the top of that. Now I'll make sure that I'll label these and I'll leave these in the uh, greenhouse. Hopefully the lettuce should be coming up within the next three or four days. Um, it's very, very quick is lettuce and hopefully the pak choy should start to come up in about uh, 10 days to two weeks. Right, and I thought I would give you a little update on how everything is getting on in the greenhouse. Uh, here we've got um, some Tigerella tomatoes. They're in three inch pots. They're in a couple of weeks time, I should think. I will be planting those in six inch pots. And on the right here, we've got some pumpkins. Uh, they're nearly ready to go outside. Uh, I might put those into six inch pots this week. Um, just to give them a little bit more space but they're doing very well and I've got some more tomatoes down here these are the Caspian pink uh, and again they're very nearly ready to go out into three inch pot uh, into six inch pots and then I've got um, chocolate stripes uh, on this side now there's lots going on on this side here we've got some uh, actually on the far end there's some tomatoes they're bountiful uh, these ones here uh, they are uh, bountiful as well and again they're doing really well they're they're nearly ready to go into six inch pots um, we've got the leeks uh, here which um, I will be putting out fairly soon I think they're still a little on the small side uh, and then behind we've got the lemongrass which is growing absolutely fabulously next to them I'm going to have to pan up here we have some sunflowers uh, which I will be putting out um, in the next few uh, weeks once um, beginning of June comes and then on the right hand side here I've got some more tomatoes and they are uh, garden oh gosh what are they called garden pearl those ones and down here, as you can see, lots more tomatoes. They're doing really well. They're absolutely lovely. These ones here are actually ready to go into six inch pots, which will be their final, um, their final pot to go in. Uh, so they're great. But as I say, I will show you um, when I do those. Okay, on the right hand side here we've got the melons, uh, they just need a little bit of water, it's actually very warm in the greenhouse today. Um, and I've got some flowers here, various ones, which I, I only potted up uh, about last week. Uh, here we've got um, some Spanish cucumbers. And then along here, I've, there's a few more bits I do need to pot up. I've got uh, one little aubergine here. Uh, these ones, actually, I've got one tiny one there, but I don't think it's nothing's going to come of that. So I've got one aubergine. I've got some chilies at the back. Um, I've got some over here. These are cauliflowers, which I need to um, pot up. Uh, and I've also got here, which I need to pot up into three inch pots, uh, some peppers. And again, uh, these are the lupins, which I potted up a little while ago. Actually, I think it was only last week, and they've just um, they've come up very, very well. Uh, I've got, what have I got here? Oh, these are some more sweet peppers here. Uh, they're doing great. And I've got some more tomatoes there and there, and they're very nearly ready. I have got some more tomatoes right down the bottom here. Uh, and again, they're, um, they're very nearly ready to go up right down the bottom here. 
Um, I've got some carrots which I'm growing in a trough um, because Lottie and Dottie will grow them in a trough. So um, I'm, I'm growing them in a trough um, to actually make a little video uh, to show how to, how to grow them in a container. And down here, I've got a lovely selection of all sorts of bits and pieces for my friend Jenny. I was supposed to take them with me last night when I saw her, but I clearly forgot. Um, so I'll, uh, when I see her next week, um, I'll give her all of those and she'll look after them and grow them beautifully in her garden. And down here we've got some more peppers and some more carrots and these are, uh, actually I've got quite a few of these, there's some at the top as well. These are the um, French beans that have only recently been planted, been sown, uh, so they won't be coming up for at least another week or so. And then just up here I've got some more flowers, we've got some aquilegias here and we've got some alisum on the right hand side and yet more tomatoes. Right, well, as you can see, the greenhouse is um, very full. I don't actually have a space. No, I don't have one space free at the moment, um, which is good. Um, but I've got a few other things that I need to do. So, um, yes, I'm going to have to have a bit of a reshuffle. I might have to think about putting the beans down in the greenhouse on the allotment because that's where they'll eventually go. Um, and moving a few other bits and pieces down as well. Um, so, uh, yes, it's it's a bit of a reshuffle at the moment, um, but it's all going really well. Um, the, the weather seems to be holding beautifully. Uh, we had a load of rain last night and some thunder and some lightning, which was absolutely fabulous. Um, and uh, apart from that, uh, it's it's been really good so far. So let's hope that it continues. Okay, well, um, that's it for today. I hope you found what I've shown you useful and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.